I'm learning how to host in the community and to help people to work through challenging issues as they um, come together to talk about and, um, uh, and commit to working through their re bushfire recovery. A lot of the practices that we use come from a body of work called the Art of Hosting and Harvesting Conversations That Matter. And um, Dave Newell and I have worked uh, over some years with those practices. And when we were brought into the recovery as part of the surge recruitment for Resilience New South Wales, we started to notice you know, where some of these practices might be effective in this space. So noticing where there was conflict within community, conflict between uh, different parts of government and community, uh, just, just that need for people to feel heard. The trainings like really opened my mind up to a whole world of new kind of tools and methodologies um, that I think I'll be able to implement with a lot of effectiveness um, in the communities around the Queen and Palarang region. So um, that's been the main takeaway um, and I, I wasn't aware of any of those methods or um, um, kind of theories behind the methods before this coming in here. Uh, World Cafe, Triads, open spaces, the whole lot. It's, it will be event specific, but to have that full tool belt and be able to use them interchangeably is, is really good. I think a really important part of our learnings were hosting, learning to host ourselves as well, as we've been hosting other people for so long in recovery and relief. One of the, um, the issues with being in the CRA network in regional New South Wales is that we are a long way apart. It's been exacerbated by COVID, so uh, for me it's the first time I've met this, my colleagues um, from around the region in person. The fact that the CROs now have a network of colleagues and supporters and someone that they'll be able to call on if they need uh, some uh, project support or input or advice or help or remembering or just a friendly voice on the phone. The, um, the time and effort that's gone into preparing this material for us over two days, it's so obvious that um, the effort that's been put in um, by Resilience New South Wales in preparing for these two days of workshops, providing us with a fabulous venue, we were so well looked after. I feel really privileged to have been able to host a training like this in this setting and the, the, the passion of those who are here, we had uh, people from Red Cross, people from local government in the CRO roles, but also other staff from local government working in recovery. We had Resilience New South Wales staff and just, and, and we have managers and, and sort of uh, recovery officer level. And it was just great to see how when you can bring a group of people together and, and offer a space where, where people feel equal and can just connect and, and learn from each other, it's so rich and, and it's been a, a really pleasant couple of days um, because of, of the way that people have just, just been, been able to turn up, so it's been great.